Okay, so I know you clicked on this video because we are thinking of getting either the ITEL X24 or the Redmi 13. And honestly, it's kind of confusing choosing one over the other because these two phones share quite a lot in common. Like, they have the same performance levels with the Helio J91 processor. They also have the same camera specifications. And in terms of battery life and a lot of other things, there's a whole lot they share in common. So in this video, I tend to actually nitpick on those few differences between these two phones or what one does better than the other. Difference number one I found is in their build quality. Design may be subjective, yeah, but build quality is not. The Redmi 13 is obviously better because the red is made of glass, not plastic like we have with the ITEL X24. But don't forget that glass breaks, so you want to keep that at the back of your mind. And the difference number two I noticed is in their cameras. Like I said before, both phones have the same main camera of 108 megapixel, but when you want to shoot videos with these two phones, you get better video quality with the ITEL X24. That is 2K quality compared to the Redmi 13 that gives you at most 1080 pixel at 30 frames per second. Secondly, there is a macro lens in the Redmi 13 that allows you to take tiny objects very well, like this picture you're looking at right now. If you try to do the same with the ITEL X24, you are going to get really bad picture like this one. Thirdly, when shooting videos, you can zoom up to 10 times with the ITEL X24. The Redmi 13 only allows you to zoom up to six times. So think about that, yeah? Now, let's analyze the pictures taken by the main cameras of these two phones. You can see how vivid and really edited, saturated, the pictures taken by the ITEL X24 are. The red shirt I'm wearing is way more prominent with the ITEL X24 pictures. While the Redmi, I would say it's not as bright as the ITEL X24, but which one do you think is more appealing to your eyes? For me, I definitely lean towards the ITEL X24 pictures. Lastly, I could not take portrait pictures with the back camera of my ITEL X24. When I tried to do so, this is the message I kept getting. Now, I remember that I reached out to ITEL some time ago to let them know about this problem, and they were like, a software update would fix it. But till now, I haven't gotten any software update, and as you can see right now, my phone is up to date. Now that said, in picture mode, both phones can zoom up to 10 times and they are equally readable as you can see right now. I also tested out night photos and both phones did very well when it comes to taking night pictures, but the ITEL S24 pictures were a bit brighter. Now let's switch to the front cameras. It's a 16 megapixel sensor for the Redmi 13 and an 8 megapixel sensor for the ITEL X24. And just like the back camera, as you can see the huge difference in the final processing you get when you take pictures with these two phones. Photos appear brighter in the ITEL X24 and you can say the same when it comes to HD. HDR. The ITEL S24 obviously does it better. I was able to take portrait selfies with the front camera of the ITEL S24 and this is how they look in comparison with the Redmi 13. Which one do you prefer? Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, so this is the video quality of the ITEL S24 in 2K, 30 frames per second, which is the highest quality you get. Yeah, it's actually nice the dynamic range is is okay at least i can still see hello the video. Give it. thank you hello thank you okay yeah so at least i can still like see that palm tree right behind me but really not so good but then it's manageable let's not check the the redmi 13 yeah Okay, the Redmi 13 offers you front camera video up to 1080p, and this is what it looks like. Wow, HDR processing is not good at all. Like, you know, I cannot see the palm fronts behind me as clearly as I was seeing it with the ITEL S24. And this, even after I've updated the phone, because I got uh, a prompt to update the phone and of course he talked about um, you know stabilizing the camera and all of that but this is what you get with the front camera video
yeah compared to the itl s24 what do you think i think i prefer the itl s24 actually but let me see know what you think in the comment section oh. yeah then also, I must mention the front-facing touch light that the Istel S24 comes with, which is very useful when you are taking nighttime selfies. You don't get that with the Redmi 13. Now, enough of the camera talk here. Yeah? Let's talk about other things that you really need to consider when you are thinking of which of these two phones to buy. Starting off with charging. Yeah, both phones comes with 5,000 mAh battery, actually 5,030 for the Redmi 13, but 18 watts charger, that is what you get with the Itel X24, versus the 33 watts charger you get with the Redmi 13. So that means while you are spending like one hour 20 minutes to get the Redmi 13 from zero to 100%, you're spending way over two hours to do the same with the Itel X24, which makes it really slow in comparison. Now, in the display department, the Redmi 13 beats the Itel S24 hands down. Firstly, you get a 1080 pixel screen resolution versus the 720 you get with the Itel S24. So, when you're watching video content on these two phones, you get better video quality, sharper colors with the Redmi 13 than with the Itel X24. And then also, we don't want to forget another very important feature, which is screen protection, the Corning Gorilla Glass Jewelry protection that the screen of the Redmi 13 comes with. You don't have that kind of scratch protection with the Itel X24. So now, let's talk software updates, which are very important in helping your phone stay secure and run smoothly. Out of the box, you get Android 13 with the Itel X24. And I don't think you'll be getting any further Android updates or security updates on this phone. Like, I seriously highly doubt it. But the Redmi 13 out of the box gives you Android 14, which makes it better and more recent in terms of updates. And I already have security update up to May 1st. So it's technically more secure. And who knows when Android 15 comes, I mean, they just give us Android 15 on this device. But really, these are very important things you want to consider when you're choosing which of these two phones you want to get. So let me conclude this video here by saying the Itel X24 has a better camera quality and functionalities when you compare it to the Redmi 13. So if you are a content creator who is going to be doing more videos and pictures, then this may just be the better phone for you to buy. But when you choose the Itel S24, you will be missing out on very important stuff like a better display, a screen protection from scratch, a faster charging, a more recent software and even updates, a better built phone, an IRO blaster to control your device, like the list just goes on and on. So in my opinion, I think the Redmi 13 is a more balanced phone. It gives you a bit of everything. It may not be the best in the cameras, but all the issues it's having with the cameras can be fixed with just one or two updates from Xiaomi. In fact, while I was shooting this video, I actually received an update that according to Xiaomi will fix the skin tone issues with this camera. So you understand what I'm trying to say. This is a more all-round balanced phone for you to get. Why? The only edge the S24 has over this phone, I think, is just the camera functionalities that it has. So that is it. I hope this video was helpful. Like this video for more people to see it and also subscribe to the channel. If you need a more detailed review of these two devices, because there are a lot of things I didn't mention, you'll want to watch these two videos showing on these sides of your screen right now. That's it. I will see you in my next video.